yo what is up um so basically all of my other videos got copyright claims for music so i'm not even gonna bother with any music because i'm way too lazy for that so uh i'm just gonna you know do this voiceover and if you don't want to hear me talk for eight minutes then you can just mute the video and turn on your music or whatever um I'm not going to force you to listen to me, but, um, so yes, this piece is of Wano from Monster X, and I've actually had this idea saved for, like, ever, but I got super busy, and I wasn't able to draw a lot. Um, this photo is from their album picture thing, and... <laughs> I basically just took a picture of it and then sent it to my computer and then here we are. Um, but I didn't want to, you know, use the colors that are actually in the photo because, you know, they're not true to the actual photo. So I was like, well, what can I do? So I went on Tumblr and I found these um, color palettes. And I was like, you know, these are nice. Oh, <laughs> I'm going to use them. Um, I am going to give them credit in the description. So if you want to use those too, and then you can. Um, basically, I just kind of, well, at first I wanted to just use the pink one. And then I had another Juhan photo that I was going to use the blue one for. But, um... The, just the pinks weren't really working out, so I was like, I need more colors. So I pulled the blue one out, and I was like, you know, I'm going to make this work somehow. So uh, here we are. And I know that it looks really weird in the beginning, and I wasn't too sure about it either. Uh, I was like, how in the world are these two color palettes going to work together? But I think it did in the end. It turned out okay, and... You know, it's more interesting using two different color schemes, uh, in my opinion. So, yes. Uh, I know, I'm not very, you know, um, knowledge, uh, what's the word? You know what I'm trying to say. Uh, I don't know a lot about <laughs> color. Um, I, I've never taken an art class or anything, so I just kind of go from my own experience and I challenge myself like this a lot because that's the only way that I know that I can you know learn and grow as a person who does art <laughs> uh, so yes so speaking of challenging yourself I wanted to give a few pointers on challenging yourself and I'm not going to um, say you have to do this or you know you have to you need to <laughs> no if you want that kind of advice you should see a professional artist uh i'm just gonna talk about uh, my mindset i guess when i go into pieces like these um basically i don't like to erase and completely start over with things like this because if you do that there's not a very high chance that it's gonna change anything in my opinion <laughs> um, so I just kind of try to work with it and I go with my gut and I'm just like okay so this goes here and this goes here <laughs> um, so yes that's what I do and um, yeah so uh, you shouldn't just completely erase anything and just say, oh my god, this is terrible. <laughs> because the whole time that I was doing this piece too, I was thinking, like, what are other people going to say about it? And uh, what will they think about it? And that's not really a good thing to think about while you're painting because it can change how you look at the piece. If you just look at the piece like, oh, this is something that's really different and really unique to me, 
then it's going to make you a lot happier doing it than thinking, oh my god, what are people going to say? Um, so, especially when you're trying something new, <laughs> you don't want to think about what people will think about it because you don't have to post it if you don't like it. That's something that you can decide and people don't have to see your artwork and I always think it's good. I, I upload everything that I draw because of the fact that I can look back and see how I've changed as an artist. Well, not really as an artist. I'm not an artist. <laughs> I just like the art, but um, how, how my quote-unquote style <laughs> has changed and what I've gone through to get there. Because when when I was first starting out, I would only draw anime, and that is it. I was, like, so stuck on it. And I never wanted to draw photorealistic because I didn't think that it was actual art. Uh, which sounds very ignorant now, but um, I never really challenged myself to something different and then finally I got into k-pop and I was like wow I really want to draw them and so that's kind of what got me where I am now I used to do completely like photorealistic like if you go on my Instagram you'll see it um, but now I'm kind of like I want to have my own personality in it and so that's kind of where I am now. I get a lot of inspiration from other artists also, but it's mostly from doing these, like, um, challenges. <laughs> I don't really want to call them challenges, but, like, it's just something different that you put yourself through. <laughs> and so that's where it's gotten me now. Um, so, yes, that is the end of my ramble. If you like this video, then please give it a thumbs up and share it with everybody. Uh, <laughs> um, not really, but also if you like these videos, please leave a comment and subscribe and I will see you in the next ramble. Uh, you can enjoy the end of the piece without me talking. <laughs> Bye!